That bed does not look comfortable. Exquisite furnishings decorate the area. There's nothing useful there. Hmm. Well, all right. I'm gonna find a blue staff eye before we can continue. It's kind of a weird house. They got. It. Okay, when has there ever been a house? These games that make sense, right? If you look at your map, this area is called the Residence. Oh. So it's more heart. Finally, a residence of evil. Antique dolls are here in this way. This could be Alexia's. Destroyed all. Oh, look, a music box. No, I didn't mean it back out. Honestly, the soundtrack really reminds me of the video game Clock Tower. I don't know if you guys probably aren't familiar with that, but it had the same style. Hey, that's the. Other side. Hmm. That's. The, Is this what? where they exited? Huh. No, nope, it looks like here. they went up the ladder. Yep. Looking useful. Okay. I was playing a beautiful melody. Something is written on the back of the lid. Red Queen and Blue. Oh, Red Queen and Blue King return. The paths open. you want to sleep on that bed seems like an easy way to get crushed yeah you know i'm not a rich person i don't currently live in a mansion but uh i wouldn't install that in my house oh for that reason alone okay it just slammed down again a ritual is embedded by the opening oh uh, maybe we can try climbing up that ladder Pretty sure you can. Here. Okay. Uh, okay. Has to be that specific spot. Has to be at the right angle. The hole in the ceiling is sealed. Huh. I guess we can't go that way. Okay. They're like, ah, oh, let's just fucking seal our e exit for some reason. I oh, need those jewels to open it up. Begs the question how those two weirdos are getting through this house with all those weird locks. Uh, they probably lived in this house for some time. Oh yeah, they got their own special keys, but I, think I, I guess we're finding the spare keys. Brother, remember to take the red jeweled spider thing with you at all times. I know it's uncomfortable in your pocket, but you must need it. Alright, silver key. Must be to another door in this house. Maybe. I think we've explored the entire house. Oh! And by I think, I, I mean, yes, we've explored the entire house. Okay, we'll have to come back here then. What the fuck happened to that door? It got smashed. Why would they have a giant doll hanging in the middle of their house. Alright, well I gotta run past those two bitches <laughs> that are outside this door. Ah! Hello. What an asshole. Spawn camping. Hey, don't spawn camp me. I'm being a good boy. Oh, wow. Whoa. Wow. Wow, you guys should get fired for that one. <laughs> I'm the best fucking juker in these games. Oh my gosh, she got away again! Oh, Dave, man. Why are you not to let her get away? I am actually not going to fuck around. Yeah, this uh, this guy in the next room is about to fuck around and find out. Yeah, no, straight up. He's still in here, that is. Oh, yep, there he is. Hey, it ain't polite to slap a lady like that. I do not want your shit. Can I just fucking go over here? Thank you. 
I guess he didn't find out. No. No. You will never know. Alright, we are back here again. If I remember correctly. Never mind, I thought we had a red. Red or somewhere. No. There we go. Uh, we could probably take the hemostatic. I'm actually gonna. Try I'm gonna save. Yeah, this is a this is a good saving point. Actually, the guy. Yeah, we got e ribbons. Yeah, we okay. I have off them on me. This is probably my least favorite save music, but it's still alright. Yeah! I think the first game probably has my favorite save room theme, still. Also the best voice acting. Gotta love Wesker in Resident Evil 1. Stop it! Don't open that door! Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> I think... I think out of all of us, me and Kevin were the only people there for the original Resident Evil playthrough. I was there for the tail end of it. Yeah. Josh was there too, but he's not here today, so... Yes! He's not here today. Had to go get a job. Re yeah, he got a job. Very we need money. Yeah, what kind of world is this to where we need money? Uh. Okay, please die. Thank you. I love people's explanation. Oh, the silver key! Awesome. Oh. I love people's ex uh, explanation of why communism is better. Like, someone was like, when uh, we transfer over to communism, I'm gonna have a farm and everyone's gonna live on my property and it's gonna be free of charge. And someone says, Your farm? <laughs> <laughs> the guy with a fucking uh, Russian cap. Oh uh, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. It... Hey, is that a deck? Did somebody of cards? like legit actually say that? Someone tweeted it, I believe. Oh. Ooh, more blow gun ammo. This is actually pretty badass. Oh. Um. Oh, the other two steps now. Yeah, yeah. Combined. OCD kicking in. Combine them. Yes. Boop. Why is there a... Why is there a casino up here? It's kind of a weird spot for one. Yeah, what the fuck? Isn't this a... Isn't this a base of this is like operations? An, this is like an admin's building for the base of operations. Admin? Like, and it's like, oh yeah, let's just throw a casino in with a bar. And some herbs. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, that's a lot of herbs right there. Hell yeah, let's collect them. Still have only found one red herb this entire playthrough. Yeah, yeah, straight up. It's super weird. I think that's everything in here. It reads out data. Man. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's cool. I have a feeling this wasn't a base of operations for Umbrella at one point. Also, why is there only one slot machine on? There's three. One, well, one of them is only on. No. Oh. I understand having, like, a craps table and a blackjack table in your own private base, but why would you have a slot machine in there? Yeah, like, the fuck? Th those aren't even fun to play. They're literally... I feel like I missed something. I think there's another room that the key uses. Oh, really? Because we didn't discard it yet. Yeah, I didn't tell since so yet. Okay, so this might just be a room that's... Well, we probably need to put something in that piano later. Yes. Actually, Other than that. And we still need to use the, the key to go back to the base and unlock those doors that shut on us. Yeah. Lots to do. No time to do it because I don't feel like it. <laughs> Alright, you stupid motherfucker. Oh. oh yeah, just miss them all. All right, get back up. I know you're not dead. Oh, well. 
Oh, he's dead. Oh, wow. You know, normally I think one of those would probably stop a man. Oh, look at that. Wow. Huh. Game gave us a break, I guess. Nothing useful. We've used this. Yeah, nothing there. Uh... Actually, that door is probably rocked, the one that's on the right, but I'm just gonna check this one just in case. Uh, that's a bathroom. There's just bats in here. Yeah, but they won't. They're not activated until I move. Okay, but I don't think there's anything else in here. Also, I'm a tiny bit hurt. Oh, uh, yeah, she's a wee bit uh, damaged. Okay, wait, this one was open already, so... Yeah, there's a door or so in here that needed the key. It's probably this one. Yes. Yeah. The lock has been released. You don't need this key anymore. Okay, that's it. What's behind the door? How does the player know she doesn't need the key anymore? I don't know. Oh, no. Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God, there's a lot of you in here. All right, time to die. Time to die. <laughs> Kevin, I stole your line. Oh my god, these guys are fucking range. You're over here. Hey, handgun and ammo. I guess you got him. Yeah. Hey, another, another thing. Oh, that monster's on it. Perfect. I did look it up. They are called the Bandersnatch. The Bandersnatch. Yeah. They're supposed to be like an unfinished version of the final boss from Resident Evil 1. Another Eagle Punch. Hmm. Very interesting. I guess they're just like kept here because they were like failures, so for storage purposes. Punk's report. Punk's report. Uh. Attention, Mr. Alfred Ashford, head of the facility. Today at 1632, I arrived successfully from the Umbrella Transport Base with a large-scale BOW capsule. Extreme care was taken during transport, and all 108 checkpoints were confirmed condition green in accordance with standard procedures. It is currently being stored in the freezer. There is one thing that I don't understand. We are, we are normally assigned to special missions. Why were we ordered to transport a, transport a frozen capsule this time? I understand that this may be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the contents, our safety could be at risk during the transport. This is especially important if the contents are potentially harmful. Would, we would like to ask you to provide us with more information should we be assigned with similar missions in the future. I still remember the good old days that I spent here in the military training center. Nothing has changed since then. We can gear up for the next mission today at 2300. Umbrella Special Forces, Forces Unit Hunk. So, Hunk is actually a guy from Resident Evil 2 that you get to play if you, like, 100% the game. Huh. Uh, Hunk is only playable in, uh, the survival mode where you start at the end of the game and you have to run to the beginning of the game with, like, a bunch of weapons and you're, you're like, timed just to get back to, like, the helicopter in, like, under 10 minutes. Something like that. It's also in the remake, too, but I've never played either mode. But it is technically canon, I guess that punk exists. Alright, so the Blue Eagle plate. I'm guessing that was it? I think so. If I recall correctly, there's a spot for a plate in the prison. So we have to go back over there. Alright, probably get that guy the hemostatic medicine. Mm -hmm. We did, we do have it in our inventory, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna check what's over here. Okay. Because I don't remember. I, I don't think there's anything. So we got Steve out of that room. Yep. Steve. I honestly don't think there's a more hated character than him. With the exception of maybe Ashley in the next game. A gold crest. Oh boy. If you guys hate Steve, just wait for Ashley. You know what? Ashley's not that bad. She's just a gameplay mechanic. Uh, yeah, from Resident Evil 4. Yeah, I know about her. Leon, help! How's that? Nope. Not 
thought that was something. All right, time to make our way back. <laughs> oh boy, back to the concentration camp. I like how there's some bottomless pits in front of their little palace there. That's that's real nice. Uh oh. Out of the way. I don't want to have to deal with these fuckers again. Yeah, that one does. Weirdos. You only got one arm. Uh, now that way is this way. Oh, game didn't like that. Doing on L. That's so good. Come on, herb. Come on, herb. <sighs> Very tasty. Okay, Claire's a toker. Mm, I want some more. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm, tasty. Uh. That's, that's still my favorite Metal Gear game. Two is pretty good too. Like uh, in two, there's like a scene where you can walk into uh, the women's restroom and your CEO is like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Wow, that was a pretty sweet ass juke there. Don't want to deal with no nuisance, bitches. Just won't be on my way away. They respawn. Uh, respawning enemies. Oh, that's a... Stop moaning. Let me. I don't know why the bow gun sucks in every Resident Evil game. It's like a, it's a trend that even ended up in the sixth game. Bow sucks. Hope they built that nice. It's meant to be used. Only Back after down to the everything. everything else. Uh, Like the only game I recall where the bow gun, where a bow gun was actually good, just like in any game in general, was Uncharted for some reason, where the bow gun was like the most powerful gun in the game. Uncharted's fun. Yes, it is. You still dying? What are you doing here? Hemostatic medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just go. Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. You might need it later on. Now go. It's a stick Don't of five worry, gum. <laughs> Simulate your senses. Oh, oh my god, the lockpick finally. Holy shit, dude. 